Hello and welcome to the Campbell Wrestling Weigh-In. I'm Chris A. Meyer alongside Campbell Head Wrestling Coach Kerry Colat. And Coach, after the Thanksgiving break, some exciting things happening on Monday. You have broken ground on the Wrestling Wing expansion. Yeah, it was uh, awesome, Chris. I didn't realize we are going to be breaking ground so fast. And we drove back uh, um, from Thanksgiving, got here on Monday, and there was a fence out back, and, and all the guys were asking about it. And, and um, they're going to start working on the outside. Um, so apparently in March, uh, as soon as we finish the NCAA tournament, we can roll the mats out, move out. They can start demoing the walls and then expand the room and have the offices tied in and the new wrestling space and the locker room and, and everything that comes along with the new facility. Right now, of course, you guys here in uh, beautiful Gore Arena, this is just a 10-year-old facility to begin with. Well, tell us what these additions will entail. Well, it's, it's going to help in recruiting. Like we say, the, the room doesn't make the man. It's what you do in it. Um, but it's definitely going to help in recruiting. We, we need this space. We have a large team, um, so that will help accommodate the guys in the, in the wrestling room so we're not you know, bouncing off the walls or banging into each other. Um, you know, and, and it's just life to the program, you know, and, and what we've done in, the, in the, the few years that we've got this thing rolling. And, and so that's just a, another step in the process to, to helping us, you know, get to a top 20 team, a top 10 team, and, and uh, continue to push forward. Of course, last year, such a great year uh, for this program, the best in program history, uh, highlighted by Nathan Kreiser, uh, your senior that ended up as a All-American for you after what he did at the NCAA tournament. But he is still around this program, which has been nice. Yeah, Nathan was a great addition. So he, he's gone on to the academic side of, of Campbell University. So he's an academic counselor for the wrestling team and works with uh, Melinda Ashcraft and, and Kendra Hancock up there. And But Nathan's awesome because, you know, you've got a guy Who's, who's done it on the mat, um, was an exceptional student while here as an academic All-American as well. And, and um, so now he can help, you know, with the guys in terms of organization, time management. He understands what it takes to, to get on the stand, and, you know, at the NCAA tournament. So having uh, uh, our guys be able to go and meet with someone like that and, and who understands what they're doing, it's, it's, it's a great connection for them. And Coach, of course, uh, you know he has been on a couple of your uh, home wrestling broadcasts so far this year, and he did such a good job that we're going to work him into this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's uh, he's been bragging and getting a little cocky about it. But, yeah, I heard he did a great job. I actually haven't seen him, but, you know, he's uh, Nathan's kind of a quiet guy, and, and so we told him, hey, don't be yourself when you're out there. Actually open up. And, and uh, he's done great, and um, so it's going to be awesome to have him worked into the show as well. All right, you have a uh, big uh, couple of matches coming up. Uh, uh, Hofstra duels as you will take on Penn and Hofstra. And we went to the source, to Nathan Kreiser, to give you Nathan's key matchups. Big duel against Penn. A uh, couple key matchups right in the heart of our lineup at 149, 157, and 165. At 149 for us, we got Ben Barton who likes to wrestle at a high pace. He's good when the action's flying and can wrestle high pace and make uh, conditioning a factor, while Penn will try to keep uh, wrestle his pace and keep the match close and try to sneak some takedowns and shoot from the outside. Overall, I gotta favor Ben on this one. As long as he keeps his pace going, if not, then it's a little more of a toss up, but this is a key matchup that could go either way in the duel. At 157, Austin Kreiser for the Camels wrestling his pen opponent that's very strong on top. He wants to get on top and throw legs in and work for his turns on his feet. He's, he's strong, he's gonna try to hang back and then explode and catch in a double leg. Long and strong and Austin's gonna have to be smart on bottom and keep the legs out and work to score points. He made great adjustments at the Navy Classic on his feet and now he's looking to make those adjustments on bottom against Penn this weekend. This match, uh, he's my brother, so I'm always going to pick him to win. So, But this is another key matchup for the duel. At 165, we've got our feature matchup with two returning NCAA qualifiers, Quentin Perez for Campbell and May Bethea for Penn. Bethea is very athletic. He's explosive, and he likes to keep space on his feet. He doesn't like being in ties and then wants to explode through you, where Quentin is he's hard to score on. He's a good counter wrestler, but he's going to want to get to his ties and frustrate the pen wrestler with his ties and then get on top and start working the turn. This duel has a lot of close matchups, but Nathan Boston for the Campbell Camels is um, he's one of our stronger wrestlers and he's going to be wrestling a freshman for Penn and we'll be looking for him to continue his bonus point ways and score some extra bonus points for us with either a pin or a tech fall to help spread the gap a little in the dual meet. 
For the Hofstra duel, Nathan Boston has another key matchup, again looking to score bonus points. He's, he's going to go out and look for the pin in the tech fall. At 141, this is a swing match for Campbell, John Ryan representing us. and Hofstra has two different wrestlers at this weight, but John Ryan can, has proven he can win and uh, need, he'll need to go out and get the victory and just wrestle his style and get points on the board for Campbell. At 165 for the Camels is Quentin Perez again. He's wrestling Heller from Hofstra, and um, Heller is very dangerous with his hips. He's a dangerous wrestler, but Perez should be a strong favorite here, and this is another matchup where Campbell's looking for bonus points. Big matchup of the duel is at 285 with Jerry Hino and Mike Hughes. These, both these wrestlers are ranked in the nation, with Jerry being in the top 20 and Hofstra's Hughes in the top 10. They're both great with underhooks and really hard to get underneath and shoot on them. Hughes' best position is on top using his tilts, while Hino has not been ridden all year or any time last year. This is going to be the key of the duel. If Hino can get away quickly on bottom and control the ties on his feet, he should come away with the victory. This is going to be a tight match decided by a single takedown or riding time, so this is, uh, it's imperative that Jerry controls the ties and gets away quick on bottom. I'm Nathan Kreiser, and this is Kreiser's Key Matchups. Thank you, Nathan. Remember, duels at Hofstra, Campbell versus Penn at noon on Sunday, and then you'll be able to watch the uh, Hofstra versus Campbell duel at 2 o'clock. Links on the GoCamels.com wrestling schedule page. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Weekly Weigh-In. I'm Chris Samar saying we'll talk to you next week.